Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will learn about multithreading and concurrency in C++. Concurrent programming allows the creation of more efficient programs. C++ didn't have built-in support for multithreading for a long time. C++ introduced thread support since C++11. It makes the language even more robust and applicable to wider areas of software. Before the language updated for thread support, programmers had to utilize third-party libraries. One of the most popular multithreading solutions was POSIX, Portable Operating System Interface Threads. Also, we should talk about um, concurrency. Concurrency is usually confused with multithreading. They are similar in nature, but are different concepts in detail. To make things easy, just imagine concurrency as two operations whose running times interleave together. Operation A runs concurrently with operation B if their start and end times are interleaved at any point. When two tasks run concurrently, they don't have to run parallel. Imagine the following situation. You're watching TV while surfing the internet. Though it's not a good practice to do so, however, let's imagine for a moment that you have a favorite TV show that you can miss. And at the same time, your friend asked you to do some research on C++ Builder. You can actually concentrate on both tasks. At any fixed moment, your attention is grabbed by either the show you are watching or the interesting facts and features about C++ Builder in an article found on the web. Your attention goes from the show to the C++ Builder from time to time. In terms of concurrency, you are doing two tasks concurrently. Your brain gives a time portion to the show, you watch, enjoy, and then switch to the article, read a couple of sentences and switch back to the show. This is a simple example of concurrently running tasks. So let's start creating a simple multi-threading example here with Embarcadator Dev C++. So you can go to File, New, Project. I'm going to go to Console tab here and select STD Thread. So as you can see, we have selected C++ and this is a C++ multi-threading example. Click OK. So as you can see, we're including a thread here to utilize thread functionalities and there's a vector to create an array of threads. So what is a thread? A thread is a section of code in the scope of a process that can be scheduled by the operating system scheduler. In most projects, we deal with tens of thousands of functions and objects. Each function represents a bunch of instructions wrapped under a sensible name used to invoke it by other functions. Multithreading aims to run functions concurrently to achieve better performance. So as you can see, we have a um, structure for storing thread information. And this um, thread function function uh, fetch the thread ID and prints with the following format here. And in the main part, you can see we're getting the amount of processing units by using the hardware concurrency function. C++ a thread library provides the hardware concurrency function to find out the number of threads that can truly run concurrently. You can refer to this number when designing concurrent code. So in my machine, we can truly run eight um, threads concurrently. So here we can see we're creating array of threads here and we are spawning a thread for each core that we have in my machine or in your machine okay and we are waiting for them all to finish using the join function and in the end we're presenting their calculation results so let's compile and run this application as you can see we have eight threads here so for ending, we can say each process has a single thread of execution, sometimes called the main thread. A process can have more than one thread, and that is when we call it multithreading. Threads run in almost the same way the process. They also have context switching. Threads also run separately from each other, but they are able to share most of the resources of process because all of the threads belong to the process. So I hope you liked it and thank you for watching.